This talk is an overview of CYP enzyme inhibitors and inducers in psychiatry. This talk is a simplified overview of how psychotropics affect the metabolism of other drugs. First, let's review some terminology and basic concepts. The two main areas of pharmacology are pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics. Pharmacodynamics refers to how the drug affects the organism. Drug-drug interactions in this area occur when two drugs have opposing or additive physiologic effects. For example, if two drugs are both sedating, they can have an additive effect and produce greater sedation. By contrast, pharmacokinetics refers to how the organism affects the drug. In other words, how the person's body metabolizes the drug. Drug-drug interactions in this area occur when one drug influences the metabolism of another drug by affecting its absorption, distribution, metabolism, or excretion. For example, if one drug is the inhibitor of a CYP enzyme that metabolizes a second drug, then the second drug will not be metabolized as quickly. Now, let's introduce CYP enzymes. Cytochrome P450 enzymes, also known as CYP enzymes, are among the most common drug metabolism enzymes in the human body. They are primarily found in the liver, and they process drugs to facilitate excretion. Here's a simple visual demonstrating how this works. Essentially, a drug, or more generally any substrate, is processed by the CYP enzyme into metabolites which are able to be excreted from the body. As such, within pharmacology, CYP enzymes fit into the concepts of pharmacokinetics and excretion. An important concept here is that the more efficiently a CYP enzyme metabolizes a drug, the more quickly it is excreted from the body and the less of an effect it has on the body. Therefore, drug-drug interactions can occur when drugs affect the efficiency of CYP enzymes acting as either inhibitors or inducers. A CYP inducer increases the efficiency of a CYP enzyme, thereby causing drugs to be excreted more rapidly and to have less of an effect on the body. A CYP inhibitor decreases the efficiency of a CYP enzyme, thereby causing drugs to be excreted more slowly and to have more of an effect on the body. Let's move on to apply these concepts to psychiatry and review the psychotropics which act as CYP inhibitors and inducers. Here is a shorthand visual of the CYP enzyme mechanism and a reminder that we will be focusing on CYP inhibitors and inducers. The three CYP enzymes that are most commonly affected by psychotropics are 1A2, 2D6, and 3A4. For each of these, I'll review which psychotropic meds are inhibitors and inducers separated by strength. I'll also review examples of common drugs that are substrates of the enzyme and are likely to be involved in drug-drug interactions. I should note that CYP3A4 is the most widely acting of all the CYP enzymes, so be mindful that inhibitors and inducers of this enzyme will have many interactions. Now, let's review each enzyme. First is CYP1A2. Weak inhibitors of this enzyme are propranolol and disulfiram, while strong inhibitors are fluvoxamine and veloxazine. Weak inducers include carbamazepine. Note that I've highlighted some of the psychotropics here, which are the ones that affect more than one CYP enzyme and therefore have many drug-drug interactions. Next is CYP2D6, which is the CYP enzyme most commonly affected by psychotropic meds. Weak inhibitors include acetalopram, citalopram, sertraline, fluvoxamine, venlafaxine, diphenhydramine, veloxazine, and methadone. Duloxetine is a moderate inhibitor, and strong inhibitors include fluoxetine, paroxetine, and bupropion. Finally is CYP3A4. Weak inhibitors include fluvoxamine, alprazolam, and veloxazine. Lorazidone is a weak inducer, and strong inducers are carbamazepine and oxcarbazepine. Note that carbamazepine and oxcarbazepine are also substrates of CYP3A4, which accounts for the self-inducing effect of these medications. That's the majority of this talk, but I'll conclude with a few final details. First, there are a few other CYP enzymes that are less commonly affected by psychotropics, listed here. Also recall that the MAO inhibitors, by definition, inhibit monoamine oxidase. Finally, note that there are many psychotropics which do not act as CYP inhibitors or inducers. Here are many of them listed according to their class. That's the end of this talk. I hope this simplifies an often complicated but important topic in medication safety. Thank you.